Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the topic of compound interest. But before coming to the topic, let us go through the various objectives of this chapter. After discussing this chapter, students they will be able to find amount and compound interest. They will be able to find principal. They will be able to find rate. and they will be able to find time now today we are going to discuss how to find amount and compound interest but before coming to the topic let us go through the term interest what is interest interest is the extra amount that we get or pay on depositing or borrowing money whatever the extra amount either that we have to pay or we are going to get that is called as the interest students interest is basically of two types number one type is simple interest and the second type is compound interest now let us discuss what is simple interest and compound interest simple interest is a set rate on the principal originally lent to a borrower that the borrower has to pay for the ability to use the money whereas the compound interest is interest on both the principal and the compounding interest paid on that loan students simply if we talk about simple interest remains same for every year whereas compound interest changes with each and every year that is why we call compound interest as interest on interest let us discuss some facts about simple interest and compound interest the first fact is simple interest and compound interest for the first year are same provided principal and rate they both are same the second fact is ca of the second year is greater than the ca of first year and so on so then this is what you need to remember as we have discussed earlier that simple interest for every year remains the same but compound interest it changes every year so ci for the second year will be greater than the ci of the first year ci of the third year will be greater than the ci of the second year ci of the seventh year will be greater than the ci of the sixth year and so on now let us discuss the formulas to find amount and compound interest the formula for calculating amount is p bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to power t where a means amount p means principal r is the rate of interest and t means the time period for which the money has been deposited the formula for calculating compound interest is ci equal to a minus p that is compound interest is equal to amount minus principal now let us discuss an example for finding amount and compound interest find amount and compound interest on rupees 10000 for 3 years at the rate of 10% per annum if the interest is compounded annually now from this example we are firstly going to identify which things are given to us now this 10000 is principal for 3 years 3 years means time period that is t at 
10 percent per annum that is the rate and it is mentioned already that compounded annually that means we have to use the formulas of amount and compound interest now we have written that in this given example we are given with principal is 10,000 rate is equal to 10 percent per annum time is equal to three years now we need to find amount so we have applied the formula of amount that is amount is equal to p bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to part t now we'll substitute the values of p r and t so it will be equal to 10,000 bracket 1 plus 10 upon 100 raised to power 3. So here we can cut 0 with 0. Now we are left with 10,000 bracket 1 plus 1 upon 10 raised to power 3. Now we need to solve this bracket first. So we are going to take an LCM. So LCM will be 10. So we have written it as 10,000 bracket 10 plus 1 upon 10 raised to power 3. Now what is 10 plus 1? Yes, it is 11. So we have written it as 10,000 bracket 11 upon 10 whole cube. Now the next step will be we are going to expand this term. So we have written 10,000 multiply 11 by 10 multiply 11 by 10 multiply 11 by 10. We have written 11 by 10 three times because the power was 3. Now we are going to do the cutting. We will cut all the zeros. This 0 will get cancelled with this one. This 0 will get cancelled with this one. And this 0 will get cancelled with this one. Now we are going to multiply 10 with 11 and 11 and 11. So we get the answer as 13,310. So our answer for amount is rupees 13,310. Now we need to find compound interest. We are going to apply the formula of compound interest. That is CI equal to amount minus principal. Now 13,310, we have just found out the answer for amount. So we'll get 13,310 minus 10,000. So we get the answer of compound interest as 3310. Now students, you have got a worksheet in your SNAP homework based on this type only. So solve that worksheet. Thank you and have a nice day.